Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. For some reason my audio is not coming from the video. So let me fix that and uh, we will be right back with you. Uh, I'm not sure why this is happening. Um, need to fix it. All right, let us see. <clears throat> um, uh, you hear my sound, right? Yeah, let us see if the video will work now. If for some reason, still the video is not working. Okay, let us see what's happening. I mean, the video is working, but there is no sound coming to you. So let us fix that. Okay. All right, I think now we can fix that. Let us see. All right. So now we will start from the zero. And welcome everybody, please invite your friends. And this is our introduction before we start. He is the sign of the last hour. This makes perfect sense. He is the sign of the last hour. But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of Alamun Ein Alif. Lam Alif, Nun Dhamma, Alamun, Kut Ilmun. And this is wrong. Human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. We are giving him the Messiah, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, we are giving him. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, wa innahu la'imun lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa alayhi salam has the knowledge of the hour, that he died. Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh, because that's the only language some people can understand. Don't come with this nonsense to say that Allah when billah min hadha, Allah called someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam and that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that nonsense. What a brainwash Umar we are today. What a brainwashed nation Muslims are. They are shake, he said. We agree. Peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And as you see, we changed the timing. You know, uh, I'm trying just to have different time so we can reach more people from different locations. As you know, we go every Friday and every Sunday, morning time, 10.30 a.m. New York time. So take that into your notes. Every Friday, every Sunday, this is a fixed date, 10.30 New York time, in the morning. Today our topic is about the crucifixion of Jesus, and because it is the week of the crucifixion, actually, today is Wednesday, and I believe, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, the correct dates, or let us say the correct timing of the crucifixion, it's happening between today and tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, this is not really too much important because uh, we know that most of the Christians celebrate what it's called the Good of Friday and they consider Friday as the day where Jesus was crucified. But I believe this is a wrong understanding. And the reason they think it's Friday because it says the second day was Sabbath. But Sabbath in, in the Hebrew and in the Old Testament is not necessarily a Saturday. It is just a holiday. Any holiday is called Sabbath. But you know, our salvation is not based on the day, if it's Friday or Wednesday or Thursday. Our salvation is based on believing in Christ. And what he did to us, including the cross. The Muslim lately, they are being really uh, exposed to many informations and nobody questioned this information, not even for a second. I hope there is no bad noise. Let me know because uh, I have the city working 
uh, in the street outside and taking them forever to finish. Uh, so I hope there's no bad noise coming through your side. I hear it, but I don't know if you can hear it. So when the Muslim, when we saw this uh, sheikh here explaining that there is no sense, there's no sense. It doesn't make sense. It's a stupid to believe that there is a God, his name is Allah. He exchanged the one they call him Isa, which supposedly is Jesus, by someone else. Uh, why does it make sense? Because that will be funny, stupid, and that make Allah is a cheater. <laughs> they, they hold this mysterious view that Allah, wa na'uzu billah min hadha, caused someone else to assume the appearance of Jesus, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, who never claimed to be the Messiah, and it is irrelevant for you to come with some red herring or some cock and bull story, mm -hmm. that he did something else for which the punishment was death. That's rubbish, take it and put it in the garbage bin. I don't want to hear it. This is rubbish. Take it and put it in the garbage. Now, this is my challenge to the Ola Muhammadan. Where they got the story that Jesus was replaced by somebody else? Where do you get this story from? Do we have any Muhammadan here, he there even to tell us where this story came from? Did even your prophet Muhammad, he said that to you? What exactly the Muslims they follow? Who, who they follow? You know, the hypocrisy of this religion is, they say to you, we follow Prophet Muhammad. And the second we ask them, where Muhammad, he says that Allah, he replaced Jesus by someone else. What they will say? What they will say? Be my witness, here we go. My Skype is open. I challenge the Muslim to show me what their Prophet said about this incident. I mean, at least follow your Prophet. This religion, if we can call it a religion, it's a collection of many belief, is the most stupid ever. I mean, you know, I notice always that Muslim, they take, they take their knowledge from low IQ people. Actually, before I go live, I saw, I was searching for Sheikh Omran, and a video appeared in front of me of uh, Muhammad Hijab. And the video of Muhammad Hijab is saying, look, look at the title, how to stop Africa westernizing Nigeria lecture. How to stop Africa westernizing, so to become a western. And look what he's wearing. He's wearing a suit and a tie. I mean, you are telling people, this is how low IQ this, this religion is. You are getting a guy to teach you how to stop Africa from becoming western. And you yourself wearing a tie and a suit, which is the clothes of the Western. Go and see his video with Yasser Qadi. He is wearing a jeans have holes in it. The most like this is fashion. I mean, even kids will not wear those things. So this guy, he want to teach you how to stop being Westernized. How we can stop that? One hour ago, 4,000 people watch it. And he is wearing fancy, expensive suit made in England. For sure, it's made in China anyway. And this is the guy who take off his clothes because he want to fight the Chinese to show his nipples, but he is wearing everything made in China. But here you see the stupidity. How we can stop the African from becoming westernized? And then himself is wearing jeans and wearing suit. Why you don't dress like your prophet? Short dress, showing your ankle. This is how stupid this cult is. So this guy, he was made famous by David Wood. Thank you, David. He is an idiot. He's a stupid. He says stupid things. And uh, yes, that's it. You know, the Muslims, they think now that the guy is the one who will teach them. And they invite him to give lecturers. How to stop you from being westernized. So this is the guy who will teach you about how Jesus was crucified too.
This is the same guy who said, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believed that God have a son. And then we find in the Quran that, that the Quran saying that all the Jews believe in that. Not only a single Jew, all the Jews. Because the Quran says, Al Yahud, the Jews, they say. And when one of them, he is old, he is more educated, he speak, they laugh at him. They start washing their hands from him. Like Yasser Qadi, he is more educated than the rest of them. He said there's holes in the narrative. The whole narrative is a hole. What are you talking about? Do we have any Muslim can help us, please? Enter us where you Muslim got the conclusion that Jesus was replaced by somebody else. Anyone? Any Mohammedan? When I say educated, you know, like, I remember when I got my uh, my first degree in Islamic law, uh, uh, you know, I called the house, till then they, from the school, hey, I'm graduated, you know. My dad, he said to me something that make me feel very, very upset. He said, oh, you got a degree in farting. And I really got upset from him because, you know, you like you study all those years and then your dad, he says to you, you got a degree in farting. And then by the time I understood, I mean, this is a religion about farting. The whole religion is about how to shave your vagina, how to take hair from your inner arm, how to use miswak, how many stones you need to use to clean your, 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 your anus, how to make salah before you have intercourse with your wife, otherwise shaitan will run himself around your penis. So he was right. I got a degree in farting. Right? Somebody saying David Wood is a fake Christian. Uh, Jeremy, I think I need to send you uh, free shipping and handling. You know, David Wood is not a fake Christian. I think you are fake. Because, you know, a person, even if you don't agree with some of like how he debate, but you cannot deny that this guy, he do his best, is better than you. If you are a true Christian, let us see what you can do. Those who, you know, like, uh, they speak about people who they are doing work and they are the last one who do any work. I mean, at least do something. <laughs> so don't come here again. I just block your, you know, your words. I don't want to see anyone bashing David Wood. He is doing a great job, like making short videos, exposing the Muslims in many way. Uh, and uh, don't think you can divide us. You know, when when I say that David Wood is not good in debate, I'm trying to encourage him actually to be more tough and rough with the liars. I'm not putting him down. I want him to do, understand that we don't debate Muslims, we get them busted. There's a huge difference between debate. Debate has to be only between two honest people. So David Wood, he go in the stage, he's honest. And because he grew in the West, he don't understand the mentality of those liars. So he assumed that when he receive an answer, he will receive an answer of an, a believer. Muslims don't give you the answer of the believers. Muslims, they give an answer to match your question by lying about what you said. So they can make a point. It's like somebody playing football and there's no uh, rules, you know, in this football game. You know, I can lie as much as I want in order to make a point about a goal. So the goal of a Muslim when he debates somebody is to put a goal, not to say the truth. If you remember the guy, you know, the one we, uh, uh, what his name, a perfect dawah. I mean, the guy, everything we say to him, he denied. It's not there. We show it in the room on the screen. It's not there. It's not there. That's it. What you can do. <laughs> anyway, my Skype is open. I would like to see any Muhammadan to tell us where you get this information from about Allah. He replaced someone. But by the way, we don't believe in Allah. You know that. For, all, for us, Allah cannot be God. Uh, for many reasons. I mean, he is stupid. Have you ever heard of a, of a God and he's stupid? 
Have you ever heard of a God? He say the most stupid things ever. You know, you say to the Muslims, uh, you know, like you go to a Muslim who don't know anything about Islam yet, you know, you say to him, uh, he's a Muslim, you know, he grew up in a Muslim family. You say to him, where the sperm came from? He start giving you a scientific answer. He says, so this is the correct answer. He say, yes. And then you say to him, well, if somebody says that the sperm came from the backbone, what you say to him? He said, stupid, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is study, you know? And then when you show him it's from the Quran, suddenly he's trying to explain. That show them, just show them that this is in the Quran. Suddenly he want to explain. That's what they do. Like the guy who called me to uh, to tell me that you are teaching hate. I said, what hate? You know, you can watch the video made by uh, Sheikh Omad. You know, just for for comedy. So do we have any Mohammedan here would like to join us in a nice conversation? Yeah, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ That doesn't mean that he Allah replaced him by someone else. Nowhere it says that. You know, let us go to the verse. Most of people, maybe, they're like they, they come to that conclusion because of the translation. But the, the verse never say that Allah replaced him by someone else. It says, Allah made it appear to them. What does that mean? How he made it appear? No details. You know what I mean? Allah, he made it appear to them. Where's the details? I mean, this God, he have time to tell us about how the ant, she told the other ants to hide from Solomon. Very silly topic, who care? And when it's come to the crucifixion of Jesus, he give us no details, nothing. I mean, the whole Quran speak only in this place, appear to them. Okay, it was made appear to them. What does that mean? How it appeared to them? Any Muslim? Did your prophet explain it to you? Or this is what your Muslim tried to find out or to figure out? And the funny is, this is a book, the Muhammadan, they say, that Allah, he explained it in details. In what? In details. Was it really? Was this book explained in details or nobody understand anything what this book is saying? All those verses in front of us are speaking about how Allah explained the book in details. So all those signs, all, all, and by the way, it doesn't say a sign. This is a stupid translation. Al-ayat, ayat mean verses. And this is, ayat can be, can be a sign too. Uh, it's like anything coming, a, a godly thing, like perfect. So this is how we explain things. Did Allah explain it? So why you have Ibn Kathir, and Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, and Al-Jalalain, and each one he, of them, he give you his own pupu. And the funny the Muslim they say, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. But all of this is a contradiction. Because the Muslim, after all of this, claiming in the Quran that it's explained, we find the Muslims cannot explain anything. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to say anything for us? Anyone?
The Quran does really mean acknowledge or sign of the hour. Uh, 4361. Yeah, I mean, you mean the one who this Sheikh he mentioned, right? But, you know, if you think about it, you will see why the Muslims they always they are in chaos when it's come to their religion. All of us we knew that the Muslims they add things to the Quran. What well, never was there. There's a guy, his name is Al Farahidi. He is the one who changed the Quran upside down. And all the Muslims agree. But look what happened now. When a Muhammadan he come to us, let us put the verse on the screen, and he tried to receive or to read his Quran. And this is the Muslim translation. And Jesus shall be the sign, a sign of the coming hour. Any Muslim can explain it to us? You see, when, when somebody is stupid, he speak. He speaks stupid. Shouldn't he say, and when Jesus come back, that will be the sign of the day of judgment, if this is what it's meant? Correct? If you ask the Muslim, they will say to you, well, this is about the coming of Jesus, the second coming. So why Allah did not say the second coming of Jesus? Where is the second coming? All what it says, the verse in front of us, according to the Muslim translation, well, this is the sign of the judgment day when Jesus come. But Jesus came already. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? People, are we listening? This is the Muslim translation. And this is the major understanding like we showed you that Sheikh uh, uh, Imran, he is give, getting, bust, getting, getting them busted about their interpretation or understanding because he is saying, well, it is not Musa, it is Musa, which means somebody took the alif here, took a letter off. Or Musa, which means he know the hour. That's why the other Sheikh, he made a video. You remember the Sheikh, Mr. Fartin Sheikh? Do you remember the guy when you go to the bathroom, Shaitan, he, you know, go in your anus? You remember him? I don't know if you remember him. Let me remind you. This guy, he made a video uh, trying to, like, he is upset from Sheikh Omran because Sheikh Omran, he made it clear that obviously Jesus, he knew the hour. Not only the verse understood wrong. This is Sheikh Mr. Fort, Dr. Fort. They have a PhD in Islamic 14. He made a video, and later, by the way, he made it private after he had used his video, but it's too late. We have it already. And you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, Wa innahu la lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa has the knowledge of the hour. Then he died. See? The same verse, both are Muslims, both are Sunni, both are from Pakistan. Why the confusion is all over? Why Muhammad did not make it clear to them? I mean, what was Muhammad doing as a prophet at that time? Having sex busy, collecting money, watching porn? How come such a topic has zero explanation by Muhammad. Anyone? Any Muhammadan would like to call us? The Quran is a very stupid book trying to summarize stories from here and there, some from the Hindu, some from the Buddha, Buddha some, some from the Sabi, and some from the Jews, some from the Christian, Islam trying to hijack everything. Do 
we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Any Muslim would like to prove to us that their understanding of the Quran is a correct understanding. And if they could not give us correct understanding, so what's the point of this book? This is a verse in front of us. How in the world does verse make any sense? Like now, Sheikh Omran, he tried to fix it, but still doesn't make sense. Even in, in his interpretation, it still does not make sense. If Jesus is a sign of the coming hour, the judgment day, what, what does that mean? Why each year, the day of a crucifixion date, changes? Well, no, it doesn't change. We have a calendar, and the calendar, you see, when your birthday, you are born in Saturday. This is what your mom told you. But next year, you are not born in Saturday. You are born in Sunday. So think about it. It's a calendar, my friend. The calendar, the calendar is a day, not Sunday, neither Saturday or Friday. It is a date. So if you want to fix your date, let us say you are born in 4th of December. But 4th of December can be Saturday, can be Sunday, can be Monday. It's changed. Why? Because the calendar is not perfect. And then you have to add days to fix it or hours to fix it. Like in the, in the, in, in the case of the calendar we use. As an example, I think in the year 33 or 30, Ramadan, the Muslim Ramadan, because they have the most stupid calendar, is going to appear or come in the year, in same year twice. Can you believe it? The same year, Ramadan will appear twice. Will come one, the same year the Muslim will fast twice. How that can be? Simply because they have a stupid calendar. You know, very inaccurate. Nothing there is true. Nothing there is right. Muslim, they, uh, they reject adding anything. Yeah, in the year 2030, Ramadan will be fasted twice by the Muslims. I just did my calculation, and Ramadan will come twice in one year. You fix that. Why? Because the Muslims, Muhammad, he told them that adding days, adding days to fix the calendar, this is from the shaitan. <laughs> this is what he told them. And this is why Ramadan, if you go to different verse in the Quran, it says here, Let us find it. Very stupid man. I mean, this guy, he was adding things. But by the way, those stuff, he destroyed his religion. Chapter 9, verse number 37. It says that the one who add days to the calendar, in the Manasi, Ziyadutun fil Kufri. Okay, what the heck does that mean? The Arab, they knew that their calendar is not perfect. It's the lunar calendar. So what they do? They learn from the Jews. They have to add these at the end of the year to fix it. Muhammad, he told them, if you do that, you are a kafir. If you try to fix the calendar, because this is the calendar of Allah, how dare you to fix it? <laughs> Uh, this is what happened when you have a donkey claiming to be a prophet. Do we have any Muslim would like to explain to us the crucifixion of Jesus? Look like we have zero Abdul who dare to call. They are, they are not sure of their religion for sure. Muslims are sure of nothing. Any Muhammadan? 
Can you help Mohammedan? And you know, when we celebrate a day, the day they will never come back. I mean, you know, it is just a, a form of memory of something happened many years ago. It might be, at, let's say you are 30 years old and celebrating your 30 years birthday. You know, for me, I never celebrate birthday. I didn't even know when I was born. You know, I asked my mom, she said, the only day, the only known thing I know about your birthday, that it was a bad day. She doesn't know the date, you know? So when you celebrate your birthday, you are just fooling yourself that you are born in this day or not. That day is, is there and the, day, the time never come back. It just, you know, like, eh, I, you are born in the, you know, in, in such a day. So you, you every year celebrate, but if you calculate the number correctly, you will find that even your numbers are wrong because you have to add, there's a lab year, you know, and lab year is why? Because we have to correct the calendar. So you have to calculate that, and then you will find that depending on your age, you are missing a couple of days or adding, or, you know, you have to add a couple of days before you can celebrate that birthday. But you are always trying to be consistent, and you say, well, you know what, I am born in this day, I will keep it in this day, but the fact is not your day. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to tell us what happened to Jesus in the cross? And why Jesus, by the way, Muhammadan? He is the one who nobody can kill him. You know, the funny is that the Muslim, they say to us, how Jesus can be God. And then we find that this is the only person who is born, but you don't have a father. He's the only person who was born, but you don't have need to breathe. Right away, he talked from the cradle 40 years, and after being squeezed and beaten by the angel, the the guy cannot even breathe. He went to his wife. He was terrified, you know, almost having poopoo and diarrhea. And then the wife, she took him from her his hand, took him to Waraq ibn Nufal, and then he told her, oh, this is, must be Jibreel. Jesus born with the word of God. Everything about him is different. So he is born with no father. He speak in the cradle. He speak as what? He speak the word of God, not when, when, you know, the Muslim, they say to us, how Jesus can be God and he is born. Well, as long as you are questioning this, you need to question how come Jesus himself is the miracle. You see, God do miracle. In the case of Jesus, Jesus, he is the miracle. I mean to that. Not only Jesus can do miracles. He himself is the miracle. Was Muhammad a miracle? He cannot do miracle and he do not, he have no miracle and he himself is not a miracle. I mean, what kind of miraculous prophet is 40 years old, he could not even write and read. I mean, this is something I can't teach him in two, in, in two days, especially if you speak Arabic already. What kind of a person and where in the Quran it says Muhammad is a, is a illiterate, by the way. I mean, the, those, those Abdul, they don't understand their book. The Quran never said that Muhammad is a person who do not know how to write, how to read. The word Ummi mean the Gomai, you know, the, the Jews. Muhammad, he learned that the Jews believe that the one who is not from the children of Israel, he's a Gomai. Who is the Gomai? The Gomai who don't have scriptures. And this is what the Quran says, chapter 2, verse number 78. And there are among them. There's no Jews here, by the way. This is false translation here. Illiterate people who know not the book. So who is the one who is illiterate is the one who do not know the scriptures. Nowhere in the Quran it says what the Muslims claim. And it's very funny that we, the Christians, we know their book more than them. And actually, this is from the beginning, you will find that Muhammad himself was being taken by his Khadija wife, the old woman, to her cousin, and the cousin of the cousin of the cousin is the one who told Muhammad, you saw Jibreel. The prophet himself, he did not know what he saw. He did not know who he spoke to who, you know. 
But the cousin of the cousin of the cousin, and suppose he's a Christian, is the one who told Muhammad he'd been squeezed by who? Even the Prophet himself, he do not have an idea what's happening. So how the Muslim can have an idea? If the Muhammad himself, he have no idea. And not only that, I wish things can stop there. Even the Quran says, Allah, he said to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we reveal to you, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Do we have any Muhammadan? Don't forget to subscribe. And please, I like to see people making comment, uh, not only in the chat, like in here in the chat, we see how many people making, you know, comment in the chat. But your comment in the comment section, it's going to reach the, the, the video. I like to see how people think, what they understand. Maybe they, maybe we can learn something from you. You know, maybe you say, you can say something, uh, you know, uh, like smart people can learn from you i'm sure there's a lot of smart people here smarter way smarter than me and they can teach me something so please don't forget to leave a comment later uh, what is islam anyway and why muhammad he come with where he come this from you know the funny thing about this religion if we can call it a religion you say to a Muslim, like the example of the guy we, we debated just uh, two days ago, perfect da'wah, potato. This is the hadith, it says that, the prophet says that, he says, ah, oh, this is written long after the prophet. So the Muhammadan, they have no problem to deny, to delete their prophet words in order to cover the shame and the stupidity. And the excuse is, oh, those hadith are collected 300 years after Muhammad. So then how you accept a guy who never witnessed Jesus, never saw Jesus? He don't even speak the language of the book of Jesus. To teach you about Jesus. You see the hypocrisy? You will see a Muslim, he will come to you, he says, do you know that the book of John, written between 45 to 60 years after Jesus? This is what they say after his crucifixion. So you accept somebody speaking about Jesus, his book written 600 years, actually even the book, even 600 years after, there's no book. Until now, we don't have the book of the Quran. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? And tell us something we do not know? Anyone? Who is an eligible Muhammadan would like to join us in Skype and tell us where the Muslims, where the Muhammadan come with the conclusion that Jesus was not crucified? Where do you get this from? And what, what this verse in front of us mean? And you know, here you, you, there is many stupid things in this verse. You know, the Jews, they say, we killed the Christ, the son of Jesus. The Jews, they don't believe he is the Christ. That's why they killed him. When you see the stupidity, the Jews, they say, we killed the Christ. Okay, name for me one Jew. He say that. Do you see the stupidity? The Jews, they say, we killed the Christ. Well, if he is a Christ, they wouldn't, for, for them, if they believe he is a Christ, they would never kill him. Who is the stupid here? How they believe he is a Christ and how they will kill him. The Jews until now, they are waiting for Christ. And then the Jews, they said, we killed the Christ, the message of Allah. Do the Jews believe in Allah? What the heck is that? This is what the Jews say? And then to make it you know, more horrible, he said, they killed him not, nor crucified him, but it was made to appear to them. Like, how does that happen? 
if it was made to appear to them, that's mean this is what happened. Because, you know, you go to the judge, the judge, he asked you to say what you saw, correct? There's nothing, there's nothing It's called appear to me to happen. Okay? This is what they saw. This is why we saw this shake, he is saying. Well, if we were there, we will have the same conclusion. If me and you were there, we will have exactly the same conclusion. What conclusion we are talking about? The conclusion that Jesus was crucified. This is the conclusion. Listen carefully what he said. If we were there, me and you. He is the sign of the last hour. This makes perfect sense. He is the sign of the last hour. But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ein alif, lam alif, nun dama, alamun put ilmun. And this is wrong. And human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. We killed him. The Messiah, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, we killed him. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you will hear it. Did you, hear, did you say it? In fact, if you and I were there, we will get the same conclusion that he died. So where is the problem? Hey Muslim, did you hear it? If you and I were there, we will get the same conclusion. So what is the problem? The messenger of Allah will kill him. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you Can you believe it? If you and I were there, you and I will believe, we will come to the conclusion that Jesus died on the cross. So, who is fault here? Is it the fault that there is a God supposedly he may appear to us? Or it is our fault to believe in what we saw? Any Muslim? So with the Muhammadan, they come to us and they say, we have a God, he's a liar, he's a liar. He lied, he lied to you. He made you think that Jesus was on the cross, as you heard the, the Sheikh saying, if I and you were there, we will come to the conclusion that, you know what? He died on the cross. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. You see it? So what Muhammad and they believe that they have a deceiving God, satanic God, he lie, he cheat, he is not honest, and he made the foolish decision to make it appear like Jesus died on the cross, and how that would help. Did that help Allah in anything? You know, if, if the Muslim, they want to say, well, Allah want to save Jesus, well, can't you save, obviously you saved Jesus already, because if you made someone look like him appear in the cross, well, already Jesus is safe. And you know, if God want to save Jesus, who cares? Even he can put him in the front of them, nobody can hurt him. Do we agree? If Allah is God, and there is a million, a billion people who try to kill me, and God, he decided to, you know, to protect me. Can a billion human being kill me? They cannot. Because I have God's protection. You do not need to take him anywhere. You do not need to make someone look like him. All this garbage is a garbage. You don't even need to take him to heaven. He can live in earth. But why Jesus right now is in heaven, Muslims? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan can tell us why Jesus in heaven? 
why Allah did not put him like, okay, he don't want him to be seen by others. Why he don't put him in the jungles of Amazon? Make a garden for him, you know, like in Amazon. Isn't he just a man like everybody? Why he's in heaven? Do we have any Muhammadan? Any brave Muhammadan would like to call us and join us in a conversation about how the Muslim understand the study Quran in such a way. Where in the Quran it says Allah he replaced Jesus by someone look like Jesus. And why the Quran did not say how that happened. And if we open the Quran, any verse speak about Jesus, we will see how confusing, how silly it is. As an example here, you know. When we ask Muslims about any verse in the Quran, the first thing the Muhammadan they will say to us, that, you know, uh, uh, Allah, he have an amazing book. Nobody can write Quran like this Quran. And I agree, nobody can write it. Like, because if I write a book like it, then I am copying it. I have to write something different. And if I write the same quality, that's mean nobody will read my book because that would be so stupid. I mean, the, the Quran is a book of stupidity. You can't understand anything. How this verse, as an example, make any sense? We don't know. How, how you explain it to us? What this verse is trying to say to us about Jesus? And Jesus shall be the sign of the coming of the hour. This is between bracket. You see how they add brackets? I mean, th there is no even Jesus there. What is the hour? Where is the Jesus? Where is the coming? You know, when the Muhammadan, they say that the Quran is written by a great author, his God, and then we find that the Muslim, they have to add tons of bracket between things in order to explain the clear book. I mean, how clear it is. Like, the sun is set in a muddy water or a, a, a hot muddy water murky water the Muslim they add appear appear to him in his perspective did Allah say is that word can't Allah add it if it's he this is what he meant is Allah short of words so in order to fix the stupidity of the Quran they start adding their own words to make it very flexible Do we have any Muhammadan? Guys, can you forget about this guy Rob Mitt? Just forget about him. I mean, what this is the, the, the uh, it's like, you know, I want people to focus with me. Okay. Just focus here. If that guy wanna call me, he will call. He don't wanna call, he don't call. And even he is saying he is a Christian. So he's, he's playing with you. He's just a joker. Let me block him. If you have something to say, call me, potato. He is the kind, if his wife, she sent him to throw the garbage, he will come back with it because it's dark outside. And he speak about who is hiding. We are not hiding. If we are hiding, we will never dare to say one word about a filthy man supported by a, you know, a hundred of millions of terrorists. It is you who is hiding. I write books. I do lecturers, I do seminars, and I get everybody busted. The one is hiding is your prophet, according to you. He ran away and he hide in the cave of Hara. Oh, sorry, the cave where the spider was. And then we find that this story is coming from the Old Testament and the coward is trying to copy a story, which is not really exactly what it says. Muhammad, he ran to the cave and he hide in the, what kind of a brave he is? 
Why? Why are you hide? Oh, because they want to kill him. So, so I thought Allah will protect him. How come Muhammad need a, need a spider to protect him? And the second you ask the Muslim, by the way, where we come find this story coming from? They don't know. Is that authentic hadith? They fabricate stories that the people of Quraysh, they want to kill him. He hide in a cave. And then when they try to enter the cave, they found a spider whip in the front, which means nobody enter here. So they give up. They did not search the cave. But Muhammad was there. You ask them, where you get a story from? The Muslim, he will, he will touch his nose, touch his anus, touch everything, but he cannot touch the hadith. He will touch every topic except the question. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any real true believer? He is here. He can help us to understand what the Quran really is saying. Don't send me hi, don't send me hello, and don't text me if you are a Christian, I will block you in Skype. Skype is open not for Christians. If you have a question about Islam, ask me in the chat in YouTube, not in Skype. Skype is open for the Muhammadan and Muhammadan only. We are here to show you. And the reason we challenging the Muhammadan because we don't want to do what the Muslims do. They got two Muslims bashing Christianity, lying about it. We want, to, we want you to hear the other side of the story. Maybe I'm wrong. Right? And usually what we get is a kid, whatever we show him, he deny. he says, okay, I don't accept this hadith. Well, if you are a person who don't accept this and that, don't call me then, we, we want to debate Muslims. A Muslim is somebody follow Muhammad, accept what Muhammad teach. If you don't accept what Muhammad teach, so why you call yourself a Muslim? You know, my friend, today we are not going to explain about Ramadan, focus with me. Do you see the title? We have a title, we have a topic, and this is a blessed week. We have the crucifixion of Jesus. So we wanna focus on this topic. Don't give me questions that have nothing to do with my topic today. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to give us any proof that the Quran share any true information? Anything. Anyone? You know, don't take me wrong. I'm, I want to convert to Islam. I like virgins. I really like virgins. I mean, I go to the store, I buy virgin oil. Hello? This guy, he is barbing. He called. Nobody heard you anyway. He's barbing, you know. He's a barb. Barb is a form of fart, by the way. So this is the best you can do, you barb? Okay, Barbie girl. When a Muslim, he decided to call us, he did barb. We barb and hang up. This is the chapter of barbing. Do we have any brave Abdul? He have anything to say beside barbing? By the way, Muhammad was a Barbie girl. I mean, the Muslim, they have videos about how beautiful he is, how pretty. I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. I, oh, and the guy is crying, like it's so a sensitive issue, like how pretty he is. This is how stupid this religion is. You will never see Christians speaking about how handsome Jesus is. Those people wrote articles about his belly bomb. How white under his arm. The shape of his ears. When the prophet of Allah, he piss the earth open wide her mouth and swallow it because she is thirsty for his shit. 
excuse my English or my French. They are obsessed with this man, but this man is not even a man. Do we have any Abdul? Who want to lead me to the guidance of Allah so I can get the versions? And 80,000 little boys. Hmm? Any Mohammedan? Not a zero brave Mohammedan. And then you will see later, he will say to you, well, a Christian prince, he do not debate real Muslims. He debate only weak ones. I have my Skype open. I don't know who's going to call me. Why don't get me the strong ones? Here we go. A strong one of you, he says something, you must have you bury him alive. Mimi Hijab, he interview Yasser Qadi. Why? Because he is his master. You know, if I am interviewing you, that means you are that you are the, the, the character who is going to be asked the questions and we are listening, right? So they interview Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi, he gave them a big, 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 big nail. You know where. Suddenly, Yasser Qadi is not a scholar, is not a sheikh, he is a he is a Jew. And they want to make him a barbecue. Same as this guy. This guy, he spent his life teaching about Islam, attacking Christianity. He said something, gave them a big, huge column nail. Not This is a big one. This is way bigger than even Yasser Qadi and, and holes in the narrative. What they say? He's a liar. It doesn't say that, CP. Hmm? Do we have any Mohammedan? I blocked you in a Skype. Okay, you are a liar. Give me your Skype name, I will call you. I will block you only. If I call you, you never respond. If I call you once, twice, three times, obviously you are playing games. Give me your Skype now, post your name in the chat and I will call you immediately. As you see, we need someone smart like you. Mr. Musiba, can you post your name in Skype? And I will call you in the front of him. Give me your give me your name in Skype, my friend. What Muhammad? Your name is Muhammad. So now if I search in Skype for name Muhammad, I will find you. I mean, guys, do you see how easy it is to find the guy? His name is Muhammad. Are you the kid who says to me, I do not have dictionary? The one is 15 years old. If you are 15 years old, then yeah, I blocked you. I don't have time for kids. Yeah, I just get him. He's, he's the kid. 15 years old. Get me your dad, let me call. If, if you can get me your dad to call and he is next to you and he will talk to me, you are welcome. Or your mom. 15 years old. Where is, where is the shakes? Yeah, already we spoke to you and we, you know, and uh, everybody is laughing at you already. Do we have any brave, brave Abdul? Anyone? Any adult Abdul? Yeah, all of us, we are scared of you. Here we go, I just blocked you too here. Because you are scary. Do we have any Abdul? He have the courage and the knowledge and he is adult, mature person. If we speak to this 15 years old kid, the Muslim, they will say, see, 15 years old kid. If we speak to a female, they will say, see, she is a female. That's what they do. 
And then when we speak to the adult, one of them, we die laughing. Let me, let me refresh your memory about what happened just two days ago. This, this guy, this guy is, is a, is a, is adult, you know, this guy is adult. Uh, uh, do you know the, uh, in Arabic, uh, which word is, uh, has been used for cut and hand, or chop and hand? No, go ahead so, and enlighten yeah, it's, us. It's, yes, it is at and yad. At means, uh, has many, 32 times has been used in Quran with many different meanings. With the most sacrificial, so it doesn't matter uh, who are you, uh, the most, uh, you know, taqwa is uh, in Arabic. But uh, I can interpret it uh, as uh, sacrifice, okay, for that uh, Allah's way. Yeah, uh, somebody told me that in the in the chat, your name is Perfect Dawa. Yes. Okay, Mr. Perfect Dawa. <laughs> as long as you are a person who do Perfect Dawa, can you read, can you read the verse for me in Arabic? In Arabic, no, I have read it in Persian. So how you can do Perfect Dawa without knowing how to read the, your book? Okay, because I read it from different interpret uh, sorry translation. So perfect now. So now, even you understand the Quran, even you understand the Quran is based on a translation. Listen, I left you up from your tail, and your your head is down. You can't escape me. I'm Christian Prince, so I want you to answer. So those who believe in such a thing are are they stupid? You think? Yes, definitely. Okay, that's when you are stupid because this is in the Quran. No, this is not. It is in the Quran. So the Hadith. Okay, hold on, hold on, my friend. Perfect, perfect dawa, perfect dawa, my friend. So you are saying that the one who cut hands and feet in the Hadith, barbaric, he cannot be Muhammad, correct? Yes, definitely. Okay, what if I show you that you are a stupid and this is in the Quran? Listen, listen, perfect, perfect dawa. I'm going to give you, I'm giving to give you a last opportunity to fix all the purple you did today. You know? Okay. I want you to use the best detergent to wipe it out. Yeah, you can watch the video. You can go to uh, uh, Sheikh Omad page. I encourage you to subscribe to his uh, his uh, his video. He's very funny and he is very skilled, obviously, in making videos. And he have the very good sense of humor. Watch it and laugh. Everything he deny, we got him busted in the screen. It shows in the screen. And you know, it's just a very laughable religion. And this is the adult. This is what they do. They try to wash their hands from what their prophets say. What their Quran say. So the Quran say something, it doesn't say that, CB. Eh, this is not what it means, CB. And then, okay, where is where where you get this from? Like the sun set in murky water. Okay, where where it says this is his from his perspective. Where is the word perspective? Did Allah say that? Did even your prophet says that? Do you see the hypocrisy? Did even your prophet agree with you? Or your prophet agree with, 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 the, with the opposite. No dignity. Zero dignity. You know, Muslims, they write about Muhammad everything. Muhammad, he is holding three stones to clean his anus. Muhammad is shaking his penis three times. Muhammad is blowing his nose three times. Muhammad is blowing his mouth three times. Muhammad is, you know, putting water in his hands three times. Okay, three times, three times, three times. And then we find that Islam is against Trinity, supposedly. But then we find that Muhammad does not even know what the Trinity is. And then we read this. Muhammad is saying, swearing by Allah, by him in whose hand is my life, the son of Mary will soon descend among you. Soon when? If you read in Arabic, it says Liyushikna. Yushikna is not a soon. It's now, here, in the corner. This was 1400 years ago. And then Muhammad continue, and he says, he is going to kill the swine. Any Muslim can explain to us what does that mean? What is the problem between Jesus and the swine? Any Muhammadan can tell us? 
I mean, Jesus is sent by Allah according to you. Okay, we will let that go for now. Jesus is against false teaching. Okay, that's wonderful. What does swine have to do with this? Any Muslim can tell me? What exactly this, is that like Vladimir Putin? Why Jesus, so God of Islam, he saved Jesus for maybe a thousand or a billion year to come. And when he come back, he will have two guns and he will see Mr. Swan. He says to him, be the man and face me. Turn your back and I will turn my back when you hear the whistle. The one who would draw first and faster, he live. This is what Jesus will do. I mean, how stupid this is. So Jesus, who Satan, when he see him, he will be like, dissolved like salt, as Muhammad said. He will fight with the pigs. And how many pigs there is? I mean, what the, the, what, uh, Jesus have to stay. What, what, do you, what do you mean he will kill this, uh, kill this swine? What, is, what the heck is this? And isn't it the swine is one of the good animals who tried to put the fire down of Adam? Of sorry, of Abraham? You remember the hadith? You remember the hadith where Muhammad he claimed that all animals, all creatures, they tried to put the fire? The fire which was trying to kill Prophet Abraham? All the creatures except Mr. Li Mr. Lizard. All the creatures, they try to stop the fire, which means pig, they are good. What the problem? What, I mean, how silly, how stupid this religion is. Let us find the reference so people will not say. Read with me, Allah. So, Mr. Pig was trying to stop the fire too. Why Muhammad want to kill him? I understand that now the enemy, number one enemy of Allah is Mr. Lizard, Gaigo. A woman entered upon the Aisha. In her hand was, in her, in her hand, there was an iron footed stick. She said, what is this? She, Aisha, she said, oh, it's for this, this Gaigo. Because the Prophet of Allah told us that there was nothing that did not try to extinguish the fire uh, at, uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, to Abraham. This is like wrong uh, typo. Abraham. Except for this animal. So he told us to kill it. As you see, all creatures, they try to stop the fire, including pigs. So why Muhammad would not kill the pigs? Cockroaches, flies, mosquitoes, everybody carry water to stop the fire. Chickens, turkey. Hmm? Even Gaigo is the enemy of Allah. So Muhammad, he have time to tell us all those stupid stories, but you don't have time to tell us what happened with Jesus? Oh, he gave you a verse, says, oh, uh, Allah, he made it appear. Okay, explain to us what happened. You have time for this? What this will help us about? What, what we learn exactly? That Gaigo is an enemy of Allah? Is that really from God? I mean, you know, to be honest with you, this Gaigo is really, uh, I mean, suspicious. Just think about it. You know? Muhammad, he looked at the guy go and he said to himself, you know what? 
I mean, if you look at him, you can tell that this guy go is really something fishy. He is the enemy of Allah for sure. And look, he's laughing. Look how evil he is. He don't care what happened, what he what he have done. He, he's, he's showing no sign of guilt or to repent or say, forgive me, Allah. True story. And then the Muslim, they say to you, do you know how many discovery we have in the Quran, brother? Scientific discovery, brother? You do? And this is one of them. Mr. Gago, he tried to burn Abraham. Do we have any Muhammadan? Don't take me wrong, by the way. Me and myself, I will join jihad with you against the Gago. I mean, Gago is a good, good creature. They eat the animals. If you know, of farmers, they love to have them in their yard, in their land, because they will kill all a bad insect who they are eating their leaves and their fruits. Why you want to eat the gaigo or lizard? Do we have any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Maghrib in Arabic mean West. Oh, okay, let's call our uh, Mr. Osman. Mr. Osman is, is correct to me now about what the Arabic mean. I told him I, I found where the sun set. Let me mute the speaker so it doesn't bother you. <laughs> yes, Mr. Osman, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, man. Do so, yeah, I saw your comment. I said to you about the sunset in murky water. You said Maghrib mean west. Maghrib, of course, it means west. Okay, and what that will, how that will solve the problem? Yeah, because west, it means uh, the western part of the world, or so where the sun sets, like, uh -huh. it means that, then what's the point? My friend, all of yeah. us, we knew that when we say the word Maghrib, we mean where the sun set, right? So it's uh, always, it's the west, because... Yeah, which means, the, which, which means the west also, so because in Arabic, it's like that. Okay. So Sharq means east, or so means uh -huh. the rising place of... Uh, okay. So if, if, we, if we read together, you will see, until he arrive to Maghrib al-Shams. How you explain that to us? Go ahead. Yeah, he, he went, yes, yes, he went to the, like to the western part of the world, which is the Maghrib al-Shams. Yeah, but here he keep walking, walking, walking until he uh -huh. arrived to the western part of the world. Yes. What is that? Because the world has got the west part and the, the, the east part. Uh, you don't know that? No, my friend, we have west everywhere. My, in my house, where I'm living now, there's a west, there's yeah. an east. I do not need to go anywhere uh -huh. to witness the west. Oh. So, uh, so you are saying and you're agreeing that according to the Quran, the west is a certain location. Yeah, of course, we say west okay. and east in like right. related but in, the, uh, related but in this certain yeah. yeah, but in this no, certain no, no. location, what happened? The sun set, is that correct? Yeah, when he went there, yeah. okay, yeah. he saw the sun like, because he was near a sea, okay, so he saw the sun like setting. Okay, Osman, I want in, you to show uh, me. Like in water. Osman, I am, I am here, like I'm here, here I'm, I'm trying to be very easy with you. Can you show me where it says in the Quran he was near the sea? No, 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 like... Let me explain, okay? No, no, you said, you said something. It doesn't say, Osman, like, exactly are you, 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 or you are fabricating. No, of course, it doesn't use the, the word exactly. Okay, so C, where you got the word C from? Explain to me. Go ahead. 
And that's uh, how the sun is like is seen when you are near the, the sea, the ocean, like water bodies when you are near there, like okay. Big my, my friend, or something. Can like you that. can you open you can, can you open the verse with me and you will see that he was next to a spring of water, not the sea. He was next to a spring of water. Spring yeah, of water. The, the sp spring of water, my, my friend. It's not even a two foot of water. Spring. That's why they call it spring. It's not a river. Uh -huh. Right? So spring of water, it can be even like in the size of a finger or the size of a hand or maybe one foot. So how the spring, the Quran says spring, you Muslim, you try to fix it, you say it's a sea. How does spring in a magical way become the sea? No, no, no. It's like uh, you don't understand the Quran. Allah, no, you don't my understand. Friend, my friend, you understand the Quran. I'm asking you, the Quran says spring, you say sea. No. Did Allah use the wrong word? No, but uh, for you, like uh, you compare the Arabic that we use right now, maybe the Fusha now, and the Arabic that is in the Quran, which is wrong. My friend, the Arabic, nothing changed with it. Ain on Hamia, Ain is Ain, it's a spring of water. We use it the same for the eye. So, Ain is the word means spring, and even you Muslim translation is saying that. So, you say to me, you are translating the Arabic, but this is the Muslim translating the Arabic, which they understood, and they are Arab, and they are not like you, you do not know Arabic at all. So, you are saying yeah, to but me, uh, how does that spring, in terms of Quran terminology, how does that spring like look or looks like? I mean, Okay. You tell me that there, when, you need when to, Allah, to, to, to when, when Allah, Allah sheikh, my friend, my friend, who is specialized. But you see, that this is the problem with the Muhammadan. They add things to the Quran in order to fix the Quran. They don't, they don't stick their book. If your book, he say, if your, if your book, my friend, in Arabic, in Arabic, does the Quran use the word Bahar in our in the Quran? Bahar. You know what Bahar mean? Yes. Bahar means sea. So the word Bahar is exist in the time of Muhammad. The same word. So there's Bahar, he can say it's a sea. He did not say that, he said the spring of water. So why Muslims, they ignore that the Quran used the word sea many times. And the Quran, or the one who wrote the Quran, obviously he knew that word. So if you, want to, if you want to say sea, well, he will say sea. As an example, chapter 18, verse number 60. It says Al-Bahrain. Chapter 25, verse number 53. Al-Bahrain. Chapter 27, 61. Al Bahrain, chapter fifty-five, okay. nineteen. Okay. Well, Al Bahrain. Yeah. No. So the same chapter, me, we are, I, same chapter we are reading from. It says it used the word sea. So why Allah there He uses spring when already He used sea? No, I, I can no. I don't have like much knowledge about it. No, you see, my friend. You see, no, so, no, no, no. You have knowledge. No. You see, no, no. You are you are the one who have Ask knowledge me. because if you don't have knowledge, how you replace the word mm -hmm. spring with sea? Did you replace it based on knowledge or you are just trying to defend? Is that was, was it a knowledge no, 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 of you when I you said to me? Sometimes there are some things because that's the problem. You don't let someone to talk. You no, just my talk. friend, I I give, I'm giving you, you know, all the time the to talk. That's not true. I'm giving you all the time to talk. So I'm saying to you, when you say to me that okay, the word is spring, this spring means sea. Is that based on knowledge or you are fabricating your own knowledge? No, no, I'm saying that, like, the meaning of the verses, mm. okay? You cannot just say Arabic now, it says this, then Arabic, the Arabic of the Quran say that. For example, now, uh, for example, let me just give you an example. Mm. Laban, in our Fusha, like, the, the modern Arabic, mm. the, the, we, we, Laban is, uh, like, yogurt. Milk mm. is halib, but in mm. Quran, Laban is milk, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. okay, so like there might be words like we the, the way we use them now, All right. the way they are used in uh, Quran, like they, they have different meanings. Mm. I'm not saying the hamia in uh, the calf is a uh, it's it's sea or something, but uh, it may be a water body what, what which is I mean? not this. What hamia? What hamia? I mean hot water, like uh, hot I mean, water. I mean, so I mean, is the, is the sea hot yeah. water? Is the sea hot? Yeah, the water can might be hot or really? cold. The sea like, is hot. Matter. That's deep. So let me ask you, who knows the Quran and speak Arabic very well, better? You or Prophet Muhammad? Uh -huh. 
Is that a question or an answer? It's a question. I'm asking you, who knows better? The mean of the Quran, who speak Arabic better? You or Prophet Muhammad? But the thing is, you don't, you don't know Quran. You don't understand the Quran. My friend, I'm, 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 not, saying, I'm not saying me. I, I'm not putting myself in the middle. I'm saying you or Prophet uh -huh. Muhammad. I did not uh -huh. say you or me. I did not say uh, me or Muhammad. I said, who understand the better the Quran? Knows you the or Prophet knows Muhammad? So you're asking very rhetorical questions. Who understand the Quran better, you or Prophet Muhammad? So if you want to understand this verse, you, ex you can explain it better than Muhammad or Muhammad can explain it better than you. Uh, Even this one is hard to answer. Bro, you, are you, you saying, are you, so are, you claiming, are you claiming that you understand the Quran better than Muhammad? Okay, goodbye, we'll talk later. Ah, see, we'll he want to hang up. Time. He want to hang up because now I'm going to show him he knew. I'm going to show him what his prophet say. Not hang up. So why you, why are you goodbye? Course. I'm asking you, who is the one knows better the verse, the verse meaning you or your prophet? I mean, any Muslim should say, well, the prophet. I can't believe that you're even hesitating to say the prophet for sure. But you are hesitating because your prophet will get you busted. What you said to me about the spring, oh. it's a C, like, it's a lie. It Islam, Here we go, hold yeah. on. This is your prophet. This is your prophet, and that's why you want to hang up and you want to run. This is your prophet. Explain the verse. I said to you, he, he, he yeah. hang up. See the cowardness? See the cowardness? Call in dead. Oh, you don't understand what the word spring mean. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Hmm. It means see. What the heck? This is what their prophet said. And this is a Sahih Hadith. And the Muslim, they will say, oh no, this is the Eve Hadith. This guy is very well known to be a liar. All of you are liars. All of you. Here we go, Muhammad, he did not go to that place. And he is not in the front of the sea. He saw the sun setting. He said, do you know where the sun goes? Goes. Do you know where the sun set? Do you see how they try to fabricate? They, and the funny is, they say to you that Christians, they have many versions of the Bible. My friend, this is translation. What versions? It is you who have many versions of the Quran. The same verse, even in the same Arabic. You give us a billion meaning just to cover us, the, the Muhammad. Is your prophet talking? So who knows better the meaning of the verse, you or Muhammad? They don't want to answer. If he say Muhammad, then we will show him what Muhammad said. And he was hesitating to say Muhammad. And this is goes for everything. Everything in this religion is a joke, is a mockery. Mr. Muhammad, suddenly he became an employee of NASA. He's a scientist. He loved to say, do you know? And the Muslim, they said to him, Allah and his messengers know best. And look here, Muslims are mushrikeen. Do you know what mushrikeen mean? Mushrikeen means someone who associates the name of a man with the name of a God. The Muslim, they associate the knowledge of Muhammad with the knowledge of his God. Allah and his messenger knows best. But this is kufr, they are kuffar. You see, I cannot say Peter and his God knows best. Because that makes Peter equal to Jesus. Correct? Both they know best. Both they have the same knowledge. They don't. Is Muhammad a man or is God? They are the one who kiss a black stone and they accuse others to be pagans. They are the one who bow in, in front of a stone. They go around the stone. All their religion is based on stones. And they call you pagan. They are the one 
who claim that Muhammad and Allah, they share the same knowledge. Actually, the first time Muhammad, he learned about Tawheed, he learned from a Jew. A Jewish guy, he was walking by and he said to Muhammad, You Muslims are kuffar. You associate with God others. Who is saying that to Muhammad, a Jew? A Jew is schooling the false prophet. And did Muhammad say to him, you are wrong? No. He told them from now on, we say as this Jew, he said. Read it in front of your eyes. A Jewish guy, his name is Jack Shalom. He came to Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi. Khabibi Muhammad. You are setting up revile to Allah, Khabibi. You are associating with other with Allah, Habibi. Muhammad, he said to himself, what the heck we do? Hmm? Really? Oh, okay. What, what the heck? And then he said to them, you say whatever Allah wills and you will. And you say, by the Kaaba. They swear by the Kaaba. They don't swear by their God. They swear by the Kaaba. So the Prophet commanded them, if they wanted to swear an oath, to say by the Lord of the Kaaba, and if they want to say whatever Allah will, and, and what you will, additional. So a Jewish guy, he gave a finger to Muhammad, and he gave him a certification of a being a false prophet. You see, if the Jew is wrong, Muhammad should argue, correct? Should say to him, no, we don't mean that. We don't do that. We don't say that. It doesn't say that, CP. At least say that. He agreed with the Jew, and he adopted what the Jew, he said, word by word. Hmm? Uh, a fun party I don't know your name is fun party can you call me so we can have fun can you call me so we can have fun fun party I don't know somebody delete your comment I, I approve it actually because we need to laugh a hey, fun party you just give me a text in Skype we will call you so we can have fun party just keep your top please don't open the camera uh, yeah, it talk is cheap. You can accuse us, whatever. But the second you speak to us, we got you busted. We make you shish kebab. Do we have any brave Muslim? They don't know what they believe. They try to duct tape their prophet and their Quran. Allah, he meant that he, you know, the word Maghrib. Suddenly, the guy, he, is, he don't speak Arabic. Suddenly, he knew what Arabic mean. Maghrib. Maghrib, what mean what? West. No, Maghrib does not mean West. This is why you say Salatul Maghrib, not Salat to the West. Salatul Maghrib is about timing where the sun set. Al Gharb is the West. Maghrib is an action or a name of what's happening. Description. I mean, they, I find them very funny when they try to explain Arabic to a person who don't, they themselves don't speak Arabic and they want to explain Arabic to us. Do we have any Abdul would like to join us? Who want to get the blessing from Allah? It is in the month of Ramadan. If you call me now, Allah will make your private part bigger and will give you way more big women. You know, because size is matter in Islam. Everything is about size. That's why Allah, he promised you endless penis. If size is not matter, then why it is endless? And actually, this is confirmed that Allah must be God because the only true God who promised you endless penis. I mean, look how endless his, his giving is, like endless penis. You are here and your penis is going behind Star Trek movie, beyond uh, all those movies about like uh, galaxies, blah, blah, blah. Your penis is going in the space. By the way, I heard in the space, like it reached like minus 400. I don't know what will happen to your penis. I mean, endless? And it's minus 400 there. I mean, it's going to be an icy penis. How you can even use it? If you try to move, it will break. What if the sun rises on, on your penis? Do you think you are going to like uh, some have some fire somewhere and you will heat it up? I mean, what will happen to the tip of it? I don't want to go dirty. Somebody check for me, by the way.
Ard al Maghrib, the country in the West. Uh, well, you know, no, the, the Maghrib is called Maghrib, not because really it's in the West, it's in the, in the West for somebody, but it's in the East of somebody else. You know what I mean? All of those phrases is, doesn't mean anything really. As an example, uh, if you look at the map, you know, you will see this country is in the east of this country, but it's in the west of the other country, the same country. I know this guy is trying to text me. Uh, let us see if he's a Muslim. Looks like we have a possible Muslim. Okay, let us see. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hey, how's it going, friend? I am I'm fine. Are you are a Muslim? Uh, yes, I'm a Muslim. Your name is Saleh? Um, no, my name is uh, Muhammad, too. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what, do you, what do you want to say to us? You were watching us on YouTube, uh, Mr. Muhammad? Yes, I'm watching you on um, YouTube. You say you wanted to debate Muslims. All right, so, uh, you know, if you, this is what you, are, what you want, go ahead. Tell us, what do you think about what we are showing you? Like, we are talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. We talk about the sunset and murky water. Which one do you want to talk about? Um, give me one second. I'm sorry about that. Um, let me turn my TV off. I'm getting this echo noise here. All right. Be sure that YouTube is off. I mean, so you don't have double sound. I'm sorry. What was that, friend? I'm saying be sure that YouTube is off in case you have it in the background yeah. so you don't have double sound. Yeah, I just turned it off. Yeah, okay. thank you. Uh, thank you for the advice there. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm calling into a show, you know. All right. But, but you, um, you know, I, I give you opportunity, actually, if you want to even change the topic, I don't mind. I mean, uh, here, the purpose is to see if Islam is teaching us something true or false. So feel free how you present Islam to us. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, well, um, I guess, I guess the first part I would say is that, um, is that you believe that the Jesus was born through immaculate conception. Is that not correct? What does that mean? No, I don't understand. Explain to me what you, you believe. Um, you believe that Jesus was made through God's will alone. Isn't that not right? We don't believe in such a thing. You don't believe that? No, we believe that God, he himself, he become a man, is born, you know, through a human. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that he became a man. I'm yeah. asking you, how did he become, how did God become a man? What was the mechanism in which this took place? Well, you want to go by your religion or my belief? I'm asking you, according to your belief, because I just told you, yeah. uh, um, uh, when I read the Bible, for yeah. example, when I read the Gospel of Luke, right? Yeah. Right. Many Christian scholars have said it portrays an incarnation Christology. I don't know if you know what that means. Yeah, but you know, uh, uh, the existence of Jesus has nothing to do with the incarnation because he exists before his incarnation. So he says... I understand, I understand, oh, I understand friend, it says friend. something okay. different so, in the no, Gospel of John. No, 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 this, this is all your fantasy. Jesus no, said, no, 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 it's not my, my fantasy, my, my it's friend. not my fantasy, it doesn't uh, say that Jesus okay, was pre-existent Okay, pre okay, okay, in the okay, gospel. okay, let us go, let us go. You are a Muslim. How come it says something different in the Gospel of Luke than in the you, Gospel of John? You are a Muslim, aren't you? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I'm asking you a question Quran, and you're not answering. No, this is your understanding. This is false no, no, understanding. No, 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 no. How come it says something different? You said Jesus was a pre-existent being. Exactly. Okay. okay. But it says that in the Gospel of John. I'm here talking about the Gospel of Luke where it doesn't okay, say Okay, show me where in the Gospel of Luke it says Jesus was not to pre-exist. Um, it, it, w w where does it say in the Gospel of Luke that he's pre <laughs> Her friend, you are the one is making that. What are you laughing about? You are the one. You are the one saying. You are the one saying at me. When you say something, you have to prove it. You are the one oh. who's saying to me in the Bible of Luke. It doesn't say that Jesus was pre-existent before too. his birth. You said. You said. You said it says my he's friend. a pre-existent being in the Gospel of Luke. So why don't you my prove it? No, I'm saying 
Jesus said, Why don't you prove hold it? on, hold on. Okay, but you are the one who made the claim. You are the one who made the claim. Why you don't want to show me what you are saying? You never, you never, you never made the claim that Jesus is, is called a pre-existent being in the Gospel of Luke. You never made that claim. I am just Everybody saying. I, heard did, you I, did made that even, just now. I did not even say where. I said in the Bible, Jesus said, "Before Abraham, I am." You are the one but who said that, to me. You are the one who said to me. Listen, listen. You, where it says you, you it are the one. You are the one saying to me. Hold Luke? on, hold on. This is very funny and very, very stupid. You are the oh, one who said, said. You are the one who said in the Bible. In the Bible of Luke. In the Bible. Hold on. You see, we don't want to talk like we don't want to talk like kids. Is it? It is no, you. You're it is you. Like it is you. It is you. It is you who said in the Bible of Luke. It says different. Yeah, okay, show yeah, me. It say, yeah, it doesn't say show Jesus me, is show the me, look, in the gospel me, of Luke. Show me, show me, show me. It doesn't say he's the logos in the My gospel friend, of Luke. Show me, show different. me, because John he is speaking to the Greek. Oh my God! And the Greek Dude, don't say, says oh my God. Now, now, Dude, it says now let me different. let me listen. So you failed to show me anything no, from no, the Bible. No, 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 no. You failed to show how it's not. You failed. You you failed because when you make a claim, you have to prove it. What? <laughs> you are the I, one who I, said I proved, in the I Bible of it. It Luke. Say you logo. said, you said in the Bible of Luke, it teaches something different. Man, this is ridiculous. Are you just gonna talk over me or what? You are, you are talking. You see, you are, you are being a coward now, trying to find excuse. No, I'm, I'm not being a coward. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Where does it say he's a priest? Uh, here we go. In the here we go. My friend, for us, we have four Bibles. Where does it say he's a priest? We have four Bible, and this is how we learn about Jesus. You don't take a verse and you forget about the rest so i'm asking you can you show me from the book of luke you are the one who mentioned that book can you show me where it says jesus never exists before his birth yes yes it says it says you said you said that god became a man is that not correct mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. okay so he became a man so he came into existence as a man is that not right that's what you just said well he is born from Mary as a human being in the flesh. That's so the right. Bible that's says, right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And you keep acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. And you are the one who do not know, obviously, what you are talking no, about. No, 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 okay, no. So it now says I that want you to show me. Luke, Abdul, 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 listen, no, everybody no, no. is laughing. It says, no, hold everybody on, hold on. Everybody is laughing. Can you hold show on, me? Hold on, hold on. Can you it show me from the, the book of Luke? Gospel of Luke, but it doesn't say it in the Gospel of John. Listen, so what? In the Quran, in the Quran, it says no, Israel. No, 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 don't change on, the subject. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In the Quran, said, we are not changing wanted, the subject. We you are said not, you wanted to help me change the subject. We are not changing the subject. You, you said coward. you wanted to help you me are, change the subject. Are, now you want to you talk are, about the Quran now. We're talking about the Bible. We're talking about the Gospel of Luke. Okay, show me in the Bible of Luke where Jesus never exists before his birth. It, uh, where it says that he came into existence as a man, as you just said. You just said that, man. You see, you are the one who made the claim. And you don't uh, want to yeah, prove it. and you're the one who who followed up and said my claim was true. <laughs> you said you said you so, said he came into existence okay. as a man. And, okay, hold and, on, hold 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 on. You couldn't point out anywhere okay. in the Gospel of Luke where okay. it said he's okay. a priest. You, uh, oh, listen, listen, listen. You couldn't do it, man. Listen, listen. You couldn't point out anywhere in the let, Gospel let, of Luke where it says he's a priest. Where does it say that? Where does it say that, man? Okay, I will show you from the Bible. I will show you, you from the Bible of you Luke. Read your own I will damn Bible you. and find out where it says he's an incarnated being in the Gospel of Luke. Go ahead. I will show you from the four Gospels, not only from Luke. No, show, no, no, no. Show but me in the Gospel of Luke. Do you accept what your Quran? Do you accept your Quran? What he say about Jesus before he was born? What? I, I, what? Do you accept what your Quran says about Jesus before he was born? Um. I, I, Excuse me, I called into your show. Excuse you told me, me I could I'm asking the you. Topic. You are a Muslim. Right. You are a Muslim. For me, you told me for I me, you see, topic. in order, right? in order for you to get me, in order for you to get me busted, you're you have to show me a verse. Over me. You're telling you me I have to topic. show me a verse from the Bible against my Luke. belief. You fail. I'm sure I'm saying to you now, do you agree with the Quran okay, you can tell about me I the failed. birth of you Jesus? Can't show me where it says do he's you, a pre-existent being in the gospel. I will show you, I will show you all over. Man, it's all guy, over in the four, in the four <laughs> gospel. Now, do you, a moron. do you he agree? Just over you you are a moron. You are a moron or you are Abdul. Look what your Quran says. This is why you are ashamed of your Quran. Because if okay, you don't agree, but, if you don't agree with any book of our books, then you should not agree with the Quran. Because the Quran says that Jesus was the logos. What where does it say Jesus is the logos? In the Quran. 
Where the fuck does it say that, buddy? You see, you are a very good Muslim using the F word speaking about your God. Thank no, you very much. No, no, so no, listen, no, listen. no. Here You're a very bad here, here Christian. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here, talking here, over people, here, not allowing people here we to go, talk, Mr. not following the Christian Mr. F word, Mr. F word. The, talking over people. The, the verse in the front where, of you. Where, where does it say logos in the Quran? Logos it, is a Greek word. Do you know where the word logos comes from? No friend? problem. The, the Quran uses Where does only, the word logos come from? The Quran uses only the Greek Bible of John. This is why it's called Injil. Read with me, chapter 4, verse 171. Where, where, where does it say the Greek where, where Bible? It says is that Injil in the front of you. Read it. Chapter 4, verse number 171. And the Quran use only... It says Logos in there? It says yes, Logos it in says the Quran. Logos because Logos... Does it say Logos in it, the Quran? Read it, read it. This guy's a charlatan. Read, read it, read it. It, it read says it, Logos read, nowhere read, in the read Quran. It, read Quran. it, read it, read it. Yeah, it doesn't say logos. Read the it so we can find out. In the Quran. Do you read, know what the term logos Abdul, means? Abdul, Abdul, moron. read it, read it, and we will find out. Hey, hey, excuse me, moron. Abdul, Do you know what the term Abdul, logos Mr. means? Mr. F word, can you read it? Why you don't want to read hey, it? Hey, 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 F word. Do you know what the term logos means? You you explain it to me after you read the Quran. Does it say logos it or not? It doesn't say logos okay, in the Quran, it. moron. Okay, why you don't want to read, my friend? It take you two seconds. You are an adult, mature. Stop talking like a kid. Yeah, Can you yeah, read the I, verse? Yeah, I don't read logos here. I don't read logos okay, here. Okay, what it does say? Where's logos? What it does say? Tell me what it does say. Even if you do not know even what I'm talking about, I'm sure. I can read and you can read. Okay, it read. doesn't say okay, logos. Okay, show me. Okay, go ahead. I can read and you can read. My it friend, does not stop say saying I can there. read and you can read and you can read. Muhammad cannot read. Here we go. I can read, you can read. No, Muhammad you can't cannot read. read. You can't read so, logos Abdul, in the Quran. You are you're are you you're are a liar. Are you're a liar. You are an athlete like you're a prophet. Can you read for me? Yeah, chapter 4, you, verse you, 171. And, and, and you find where it says logos. Chapter, in yes, it's in the front of your eyes. It says Kalimatahu. It says do, you, do you know what Kalimatahu means? What Kalimatahu means? It doesn't say it in the Gospel of Luke. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You are a coward trying to escape. No, you shut your mouth. It doesn't say it in the we will show you from all the, the gospel that Jesus is a pre exist no, before his birth. Okay, then read. You're a moron. Read, Mr. Where, Mr. Tell, tell me, tell me, uh, 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 tell me read, what logos means. Read, read, read. Can you read? Read. No, I'm not going to read Why for you. Not? I'm not your monkey, oh. dude. Where does it say <laughs> logos in the gospel of Luke? My friend, you are the monkey. Because, yeah, where does it say because, logos in the gospel why you don't of Luke? Read it? Okay, English read it. Hi, here we go. I gave it to you. You are the one who complained. It says this is only no, in the book. No, 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 Abdul, I'm not the one who complained. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul you, you are the one who made the claim. Says you logos you prove it to me. Luke, and you're not people telling are laughing me. at you. I'm posting even verses for you to get you, but I'm not going to quote them yet because you're trying to escape the Quran. The Quran got you busted and show that you are a stupid idiot because you are speaking against yeah, your book. Yeah, it doesn't say logos in here. Read so the you're verse. Read idiot. the verse. Because you said it says get logos in here and it doesn't. Get me you're busted. Get me busted and read the verse. Um, no, I'm not going to read the verse then for you. Get, you know how to read. Then, I know how to read. It doesn't then say. Then get lost. You are a coward, son of Muta. Moron. Coward. Your God, he chose the book of John specifically. How we know? How we know? Because the verse in total agreement with John chapter 1, verse number 1, and the stupid Quran used the word Injil to describe the book of Jesus. Injil is a Greek word. And you are the one who says to me, Logos is a Greek. Coward liars. Make me lose my voice. Screaming. Is that your book keep saying Injil, Injil, Injil? This is a Greek word. So when your God speak about Jesus, he chooses specifically the Greek book of Jesus. And when we say to you, read your book, you cowardly refuse. Because here it says that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary. So before his existence, as a man in the flesh, he was the word. And this is in total agreement with the Bible of John. The word become a flesh. Coward. When somebody says this is different from the teaching of Luke, then you should show me Luke. You should show me where in Luke it says, no, he is not the Logos. Do you see how cowardly they are? 
Jesus was the word. And if you ask the Muhammadan, is the word of God created? They will say no. And now if we go to Luke, we will find tons of verses. I did not quote because obviously you don't want to read. You're just trying to jump like a monkey. And you are faithy like your prophet. That's why you use the filthy word. Jesus says to the Jew, what do you say about Christ? Let me open the verses. Coward. You think by screaming you make a point? You don't want to read, right? Why you don't want to read? Because it's an embarrassment. The second you start reading, people will laugh at you. We will go to the Bible, you know, there's many chapters in the, in the Bible. Many. What a coward the human being you are. When you go to somebody who says, this book is different from this book, then you have to support what you say by proofs. Quote for us verses, and let us see if they agree or they disagree. But because you are a coward, you refuse to read. Let us go to the Bible. So we can prove it from the Bible and we can prove it from the Quran. What a cowardly religion. Let us see. You know, actually, each time Jesus, he, uh, he speak, he confirm that his existence is before his birth. Let us go first to book of Matthew. And then we will go to book of Luke. And then people will laugh at you. The Messiah, he said to the Jews, who is speaking now? This is not a disciple. This is the Messiah himself speaking. He said to the Jews, Yeshua, he said to the Jews, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, he is a son of David. He said, how did David by the Spirit call him the Lord Jehovah or he said, the Lord Jehovah said to me, said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. Now was David born before Jesus? Uh, well, he is a Mohammedan. He will not get the answer. <laughs> Now he will, play he will play dead. He will say, oh no, uh, David, actually he was after Jesus. You see, if Jesus does not exist, David worshiping Christ for what reason? Worshiping someone does not exist? Coward, like your prophet, no dignity, no honesty. I never find, I never found a Muslim he is honest. And then, uh, when we show him the Quran, he don't want to read the Quran because the Quran confirmed that Jesus is the Logos. Do you know what the Logos mean? He said, the will of God. He said, not me. This is Jesus. He was the Word, and the Word become a man. And he is a spirit and a man and the Word of God in the same time. Three in one person. It's in the front of your eyes. Learn how those people, they play games. 
Almost him refusing to read his book, he refused it for a reason. Because it's an embarrassment. Where in the book of Luke it says Jesus was not exist? Can you show me? He said, you show me. What do you mean I show you? Show you what? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Hypocrisy, stupidity, F word language, low class, trashy religion. Very trashy religion. The second you step at their fingers, you close the, the door of the van over their fingertips, they go not and they go crazy. This is in the book of John. But my friend, the book of John is written obviously for a reason. If all the books will say word by word, there's no reason to write four books. There's no reason. This is why they complete each other. A Muhammadan, because of the lack of the dignity, he will do anything he can do to deny the truth. And then we try to prove it to him from his book. He refused to read his book. Or obviously his book is a big embarrassment. And now if we go to the book of Luke, what we will find about Jesus? Every verse in the book of Luke confirm who is Jesus and where he's coming from. Very cowardly argument. From here you learn that when a Muhammad and he speak to you about something, tell him, show me. When you make a claim, show me. When he says something, tell him to show you. He made a claim. The coward is asking me to prove the opposite, to prove that Luke is different from John. Where? How? And when he said that this is the Greek, he forgot because he's an idiot, that the Quran only mentioned the Greek book. Only. That's why the stupid Muhammad, he used the word Injil. And here, when we, when we see the word Injil, we need to ask ourselves why Muhammad do not know about other books. Why he chose only the Greek book. And how Jesus was sent to the Jews, yet his book is in a Greek, if he sent only to the Jews. Do we have any decent Muslim who have little decency to read for us what the Quran says about Jesus? Why Muslims are ashamed? It doesn't say Logos. What Logos mean? The will of God, he said. Good. Here we go. Actually, just to show you how stupid you are, the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. That's what the Muslims say. He said to him, be and he was. That is the will of God. But then when we check and we investigate the Quran, we will find that neither Jesus, neither Adam was created in the Quran by saying to them, be, and he was. To the point, even Adam, he complained to Allah, and he said to him, finish me before the sunset. Any Muhammadan? 
uh, Emery D, why you don't respond to the lies, 107 lies? Well, uh, people who cannot find my first page and they say it's a fabrication, and then we get them busted in the book of sex of Allah in two seconds. They are kids, and we always get them busted. Here we go, call me and read for me or tell me one of those lies, and I will get you busted. Why you don't ask your potato to call me and get me busted with one? Did you ask yourself why? Because he knew he is the one is lying. And you know what? If I said million things about Muhammad, and one of 107 of them is a lie, that's me, Muhammad is the biggest fraud ever. Because I said millions of things about Muhammad. <laughs> Do you have any brave Muslim wanna call us? What is your brave man? Why the Muslims are ashamed of their book? My book says that Jesus has been worshipped before his existence on earth. My book says that God, he humbled himself. He humbled himself. And he took the form of a man. My book says that. What your book says? Huh? Zero knowledge, zero religion. They don't know even what the Trinity is, and they want to school you about what we believe. Do we have any Abdul? Quran never say logos? Well, you need to prove it. You refuse to read. Right, let me call you again. People will laugh. As long as it doesn't say logos, why you don't read it? Bad internet, huh? Hello? Huh. I'm trying to call you. Don't call me. If you call at the same time, it's not going to work. <laughs> Let me try again. Hello. Hey, hey again. Hey, where does it say logos in the in the verse you just why, mentioned? Why you don't read it? I did. I did read it. My okay, friend. go ahead. I'm I'm listening. I did read it. Okay, read it. Uh, the similitude of Jesus before no, Allah. No. Chapter is, four. Is, chapter four, verse uh, one seventy one. Chapter four. I. I don't have a Quran in front of me. Hey, wait, you, so me what, you know, you are in the internet, you are in the computer. You can search the verse or you can look in the screen. Look okay. at the screen. Look at you on my YouTube. Okay, give me a second. Let me look it up. Since you insist, hmm. you know, but you you still didn't answer me. Where does it say logos in the Gospel of Luke? Well, you you see, uh, you are you are an idiot. You know, John, no, you're a moron. Well, John, it doesn't I, say that in John, the Gospel you, of Luke. So tell me where it says me. that, you, you fucking are, idiot. You, 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 don't use the F word. No, 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 no. Don't call don't, me a moron, don't use little the, bitch. Don't use the where does it say it in the Gospel you, of Luke? You are a filthy and you are a whore. You saw you are you're using the word. little bitch. You are filthy and you are a coward and you are a son of Muta. And you are the bitch. That's why you are using those words. You are a street boy. A person is defending his God using the word bitch, the F word. Or you are the son of a whore, obviously. You learn about your God in the bar, in the nightclub. The word logos is used in Greek because it's a Greek language, you donkey. What do you want him to use? He's speaking to Greek people. Every book is written in a language and direction to a nation. 
That's why you're a stupid Quran, you son of a muta says. We never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people. Read it and laugh at your God. So how Allah, he sent the Bible in Greek language. That's why the Quran say Injil. And how Jesus then is the messenger for the Jew. In order for the book to be called Injil, Jesus must be a messenger for the Greek. Son of Muta. And you want to talk about bitches. Go and see how your wife can be divorced and remarry and divorce and remarry. And if you divorce her three times, she can't come back to you unless somebody hump her. Filthy mouth. Like your prophet. I'm not surprised. We never send a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. How do you explain the stupidity of the Quran? You cannot. Do we have any Muslim? His mouth is clean. Where it says the word Logos. Well, the word, the Logos is the word of God. And where is the word of God? Obviously, the word of God in Islam in his ass, in his ass. It's not in his mind, according to you. Very coward people, very filthy. And now if we go and read from the book of Luke, do you accept what Luke is saying? And can you find me the contradiction with the book of John? He fell. And now if we show you what book of Luke is saying, what you, what you will say? He will say, I don't accept. Whatever verses we show. Because they are hypocrite coward like their prophet. Do we have any brave Muslim? Who is a brave Muslim? He can challenge me to prove that Jesus is exist, pre-exist before his birth. Anyone? Any brave Mohammedan? Anyone? I apologize because we allow this person to speak. He have a very filthy mouth, but what he can do? We don't have a filter. The only way we can just hang up on him when he speaks filthy language. Any Mohammedan? My Skype is open. Just keep your mouth clean. You are welcome to call me. Let us see this Abdul. I just send you a text. If you're still there, please call me. Let us see this guy. So well, there's a guy, his name is Mac. He keeps texting me. If you are not a Muslim, I will block you. If you are not a Muslim, I will block you. 
So stop being stupid. I said a million times, if you are not a Muslim, don't text me. Let us see. Different, Abdul. Let us go here and read these verses. This is Abdul, but he is saying he do not know much, so he do not know what to say. Well, then why you want to call? Uh, let us see here. You know, in the book of Luke, each time the Bible speaks about Jesus being God, well, obviously his existence has nothing to do with his birth, because God is always exist. Uh, even in the Quran, you see the Quran actually copying the book of Luke. If you go in the Quran where the angels came to Mary, and they say to her, that you will conceive a son and his name will be the Messiah. His name what? Actually, will not will be. His name is the Messiah. How he was called the Messiah before he is exist. Read carefully. Chapter 3, verse number 45. And this is again trying to copy the book of Luke. Behold the angels, they said, O Mary, Allah giveth thee uh, uh, glad tidings of word from him, not a word, the kalima. His name not will be. His name is the Messiah. This false translation, there's no will be. The kalima mean who is muhul Messiah. His name is the Messiah. You change the translator, you will see how the tr everything changed. Look here, they try, they start adding words. It's not there, you know. His name, suddenly, glad tiding of a word, and then between two bracket B, and he was. But we know that Allah, he blow into Mary, from his mouth into her vagina, and then she got pregnant with Jesus, and then she delivered Jesus. So he was not B, and Allah never used the word B. Change the translator, right away you will see different in New Quran. For every Muhammadan try to cover the stupidity of his prophet. Let us see this guy. Behold the angels told Mary, God has given you the glad news of the coming birth of the son of a son, whom he called his word. Look at the translation, how it changed whose name will be the Messiah. Again, there's no will be. His name is the Messiah. So he have a name. He was the word. And the word sent down to Mary. If you go to the other verse, in chapter 4, 
You will see even he used the word he alqaha, which means he throw down or send down. He send down or he throw down. The Muslim he translate as bestowed on Mary. He is his word, which he bestowed on Mary. So what was Jesus before he was born in the flesh? He was the Logos, the word of God. If you go to John chapter 1, verse number 1, it says, In the beginning it was the Word, or the Logos. And the Word was with God, and the Word itself is God. And then in verse number 14 it says, And the Word become flesh. This is what the Quran is saying. Copying the book of John. Then, if you go to Luke, you will see it says that he will be the son, he is the son of the Most High. He is already the son of the Most High, not the son of Mary. This is in the book of Luke. In the book of Luke, he is the son of the Most High. So, is he born from Mary to be the son of the Most High, or he is the son of the Most High before even Mary is exist? He is the son of the Most High. This is always Muhammad, he copy from the Old Testament and from the New Testament. Let us see here. And we try to read. Let us read this chapter here. I'm just trying to find an English translation which is easy to read for me. Uh, and if we have a sound, recording sound, so we can play it. And uh, this one does not have audio. <coughs> Well, let us go ahead into the King James translation <coughs> because this is the only one have audio. I see here. <coughs> the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they deliver them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abiah, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, 
His lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb." and many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man." and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and have sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained as speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail! Thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing... Let us stop here. I know not. <clears throat> you will notice here it says that his kingdom there shall be no end. Well, is that something will happen or something already is exist? He have the kingdom. He is the king of the Jews. He is the king of the world. He is the king of the kings and his kingdom will never have ends. That's why Jesus says, before Abraham I am, that's why he said, I am from above, you are from below. That's why the Bible says that the whole world is created by him and for him. And then Abdul, he says to us, it doesn't say that, CP. We as a Christians, we don't believe only in one book. We believe in four books. So when you speak to Christians, you speak to them about their books, not one. And the book of Luke, Confirm all over that Jesus is God. And the second you say God, that means he is always exist. For God is no point of existence for him.
This is what the word God means. If God there is a point of existence, that means he was not God. Because what was before him? Who is the creator? So this is what we believe. And the Muhammadan, he tried to play games. And the Quran, when the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, the Quran made a stupid mistake. Because Allah, neither when he created Adam, he said to him, be, and he was. The Quran says that Allah, he made the mud. He fashioned the mud. And then after he fashioned and he complete partition, he breathed into the mud. And actually he created him by his two hands. And this is a clear contradiction. You see here, this is the same book, not book number two, not book number three, not book number four. This is the same book, cannot maintain its own language. This is Allah. He created the human being out of a pure mud, modeled clay. So he made a mud, chapter 15, verse number 26. He made the genie from a smokeless fire, which is fiction. Then the genie, the angels, they say to Allah, are you going to create someone? And here you see that stupid God of Islam, he is claiming that the angels, they knew the unseen, they knew the future. You know, this is even before any Muslim can open his mouth. The angels are complaining to their God. Why? Because Allah, he said to them, I will create a human from a clay, not by B, and he was. B and he was, there is no need to say from a clay or to fashion clay. And then here it says, and when I, it's properly shaped and I blown my spirit into it, they should go down and bow down for him. This is the command. So how Allah, he created Adam, step by step, first he made the clay, second, he fashioned the clay in the shape of a man, the statues, and then he breathed into the clay. So how does the Quran say in the other verse, the similarity of Jesus is same as Adam, he said to him, be and he was. And you will notice, the Muslim he said, well, I don't have Quran. But he was watching YouTube, obviously, this is how he saw this verse. And he is the same to me. He wanted to read this verse only. Because this verse does give a plain, eh, he's just, he is Allah, he said to him, be, be, you know, he, 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 he liked to read this one, no problem with this one, but the fact this one have a big problem, because he's stupid, ignorant, he do not know that this is a contradiction, for how Allah, he created Adam, and how he even created Isa, for both of them, Allah did not say be, and they were, Allah, he have to breathe, this is the final step. And not only that, if we go to the strip of Quran, we will find the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ Adam, he was ever hasty. Why? He, he told Allah, finish me before the sun set. If Allah, he said, be and he was, why Adam is worrying about the sun set and he is not finished yet? So even after he breathed, and you can open the Islamic interpretation so you can read and laugh. You can go right now to Ibn Kathir and you will see that Allah, when he created Adam, Adam, he asked him to finish him before the sun set. Read and laugh. So did Allah create Adam by saying B? And he was. Adam is ever hasty. This is Ibn Kathir. Salman al Farisi said that Ibn Abbas, this is the cousin of Muhammad, the one who is authorized by Muhammad himself to explain the Quran. He mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was breathing to him, it entered his body from his head downward. 
When it reached his brain, he sneezed and he said, Alhamdulillah, Adam, he speak Arabic. There's no Arabic yet, but yeah. Muhammad, he say what as he wish. Praise be to Allah. Thanks to Allah. Actually, Alhamdulillah is not praise to be to Allah, it's thanks to Allah. Uh, and Allah, he said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. He gave him a name right away. When it reached his eyes, he opened them, and when it reached his body and his limbs, he stared to, uh, to, to, to stare at them, or started to stare at them. In wonder, he wanted to get up before his spirit reached his feet. He could not, so he said, O oh Lord, let it make it happen before the night come. So where Allah, he created Adam, and he said to him, be, and he was. Do you see the stupidity? So Adam is not the same as Jesus. Secondly, Adam never been created from the word be. Here we go, Adam is done, and there's no be. Still Allah is working. So when he said be, after he finished everything, what the point of saying be? After you make the mud, the clay, you breathe into it, and then you say be? And then Adam is worried that Allah could not finish him yet. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Just be careful if you have a filthy mouth, we will give you what you deserve if you speak filthy language like the previous street boy Muhammadan. This is how you know what kind of a person a person you speak to. You know, uh, children, they learn from their parents, the language they speak. What this man he said to me is what his mother she say at home and what his father say at home. And this is the language of their house. Very filthy, very trashy. Any Abdul? Anyone? <clears throat> Very embarrassing. The God is not even finishing Adam fast. It's taking too much time. Anyone? <clears throat> No Muslims? Are we out of them? Uh, uh, I was expecting more Abdul to call us. That look like. Let us try. I'm looking in Skype trying to find the old messages from the old Abdul. Maybe we can, you know, like get them into chorus. Uh, send them, send in them messages. Let's see. You know, in the book of Luke, as an example, in chapter 10, where it says that no one really uh, know the Father except the Son. So if Jesus is just a person who is born like us, 
And this is before he go to heaven. You know, if he was not in heaven, he is just born, as you are born and I am born. But we know that Jesus' birth was a miracle. But if he is just his existence was the moment where he was born, then how he say, no one knows the Father except the Son. And how, how the Son, he knew the Father? Because the Father, he revealed himself to him. Where? When? The Father is in heaven. So the book always, the Bible is, a book of uh, four dimension. Each book give us more details, more clear details. This is why we have them, the four of them, we don't have one. Otherwise, we will have one and that's it. There is no need to have three and four. We will have Quran, mean nothing. If we go to Luke verse 19, let us see. I see your name is a Christian name, so don't call me, my friend. Don't call me. I don't know even why people call. And we keep saying to them, don't call me if you are Christian. If we read this verse in Luke 10, let us go there. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knows who the Son is but the Father, and who, who is the Father but the Son, and he who know or he who whom the Son will reveal. Speaking to who? Speaking to his disciple. Uh, And you know, and uh, the story continue. And Jesus, he say clearly that everything given to me by the Father, before even you, before the whole world, uh, before the existence of the world, and then the Muslim they say to you, uh, this is only in the book of John. We laugh. Literally, we laugh. And even the Old Testament give us many you know, prophecy about Jesus. Let us see those people that are trying to contact us. <clears throat> 